add on points to that very kind introduction. The asteroid that's named after me, I double checked before I agreed to receive the honor that that asteroid is not headed towards Earth. <laughs> we are safe. <laughs> we don't want asteroid Tyson taking out civilization. That yeah. would be a bad day. But uh, that wouldn't be a good look at all. It would not be a good look. The, and the, the sexiest astrophysicist alive, um, first that was 45 pounds ago, <laughs> body weight. <laughs> and it's not a particularly competitive category compared with other categories in that same magazine. Like sexiest action star, sexiest news anchor. You know, there, there are some very competitive topics and sexiest model, right? And so, so I don't get big headed about it. Well, that was going to be my question is which one was, you know, on your biggest honors? Was it the sexiest astrophysicist at all no. for having a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, um, I, I don't think about that. Uh, I, if the honors are, are offered because of what I've done in my life, then why should the honor itself be higher than anything that I actually achieved? Mm. Right? The honor itself is not the achievement. Right. It's given out of respect for the achievement. And so to me, it, they're reminders that people occasionally pay attention to what I do. <laughs> yeah, so well, we, we do and we, we stand in the shoulders of giants like yourself, you know, giving us a glimpse into our universe, our existence, and the fact that we're made out of stars. And with your book, Starry Messenger, as I mentioned previously, it became rapidly, I, I, I liked it and I didn't like it in the, in the sense that I had to finish it. I didn't want to finish it because that means that, well, I have to wait a period of time. So with the, the, the reading again becomes, you know, new in a sense, but it was such a good book. I didn't want to finish it. And you start with a memory. That's uh, a very I, weird compliment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, if, if I understand what you're saying, you're saying you were enjoying it so much. Mm -hmm. that you didn't want it to end mm -hmm. because when it ends, then it ends. Right. And then the book isn't there for you again. Precisely. Unless you reread it, but then you have to wait some years before you reread it so that it feels fresh. That's exactly Do what I understand I'm... what you said. Is that? Yeah. Okay. If that's what you said, then I, I guess it's a compliment. Yes. It is. No, it's, <laughs> it's definitely a compliment. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, you touch a lot about the, the overview effect and how it has touched a lot of astronauts, but you've been able to put into words that overview effect. And for me, reading your words, it's as if I'm doing an out-of-body experience and seeing the Earth from your words, which is not, a, it's not an easy task, articulating right. that effect. Well, thank you. Thank you. I mean, that's part of, you know, I, I think we should all aspire to good writing And good writing is not simply what's on a wiki page. A wiki page is just simply informational. So good writing should evoke a feeling and an emotion, and it should call to you to want to read more. And to whatever extent I've accomplished that for this book, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, absolutely. And... 